Misha here, and today I wanted to have some fun. Um, I've been watching, looking at Instagram and watching YouTube videos like I always do. There's a lot of cool techniques um, that I've been seeing, like Gina DeLuca did this flower or feather technique with the string pull. It looks awesome. I want to try that. Um, she's also done some really cool flowers. I'm really loving Gina DeLuca. And then I've also seen this technique with, with using one of these bottoms of a soda bottle. Um, pouring the paint on top of that. I've seen that on YouTube, but Sylvie on Instagram, she's like a master at it, I swear. She does it all the time. And I don't need to be a master, but I do want to try it out. So, that's what I'm doing today. So, I got just a, my son had a lemonade bottle. I cut the bottom off of it, and then I used a Dremel tool just to kind of smooth it out and make it flat. And in front of me, I've got a 14 by 18, just regular old canvas. Um, usually when I'm trying to do something I, I like really nice, I use gallery wrap canvases. I use these types of canvases for things I want to play with and have fun with and experiments. Um, over here are my paints. Let me go through them. In this cup I've got some Artist Loft Cobalt Blue I've added some water to. I will be using this cup to pour these colors into. I've got some cadmium yellow right here that's left over from another painting. This is some light blue Master's Touch um, light blue that I also have left over from another painting. And then I have a plethora of deco art paints. Now these I'm going to pour straight in. I'm not going to thin them. These have already been painted or thinned. I don't think these need to necessarily be thinned down. They tend to be pretty thin out of the bottle. So I'm going to go with it and hopefully that will work out. Um, let me go through these. Gosh, I just like to throw things and drop things. Um, over here I've got titanium white. I've got lavender, carousel pink. This one's the bright orange, sour apple, and true red. In this little cup, I am going to take some of the white and some of the pink, pour it in there and do a flip cup, and then I'll put this over the top of that, and then I'll pour the combination of the rest of the paints um, in this cup over the top of that. And I've got my torch, because I like, I like a big torch, and I've got my igniter. So once I pour all the paint, I'll torch it, allow those cells to start coming up, and then move it around. Um, Alright, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. I hope it turns out well. Wish me luck, and let's get started. Okay guys, so <laughs> this is it. I really, after pouring, I was like, oh, I have way too much blue. I lost all the other color. But then once I started moving things around, all the rainbow colors started showing up. I will say the paint was too thick. It was uh, too hard to move, so if I did this again, I would definitely thin that paint down a little bit more. Um, definitely that little middle piece didn't really, it didn't, <sighs> the other paint wanted to move across it because the blue that came in this cup was thinner than the rest of the uh, paints that were being poured into it. So you could definitely see the way the thickness of the paints wanted to move differently. So, but 
when I move things around, I really like some really cool pieces of it. This was super fun. Um, let me bring it in closer. I'm not getting many cells, so I'm going to bring it in now, not wait until it's dry because I don't think much is going to change. And I don't think there's going to be much selling going on. Um, but let me bring it in for like the tree ring effects that I see here and just all the cool pieces of it. I love the colors popping out up here. Ooh, we got the red. Oh, man, I'm making granola. And it's done. So I apologize. You're going to hear some beeping for a minute. Those are so cool. I mean, this did not turn out the way I wanted it to. But it's still super neat. Look at that corner. So cool. All right, guys, tell me what you think. By commenting below, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Um, if you have questions about any of the uh, materials that I use, check that description below because I do um, put links in there. And then if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button because there's, I've got a lot more coming. Alright guys, until next time, take care.